Hi, I'm Kay DeSelms Dent with Dent Colson Elder Law, here with an Elder Law Minute for you. These videos are intended to educate you about the elder care journey, which begins earlier in life than you might think. We hope that you find them useful, and if you have further questions, please call us at Dent Colson Elder Law. Today, I want to talk a little bit about trustee selection if you're setting up a trust as part of your estate plan. First of all, there are a lot of different kinds of trusts for different purposes. And which trustee is right for your trust depends on why you're setting it up in the first place and what kind of trust it is. For a revocable living trust, which is a common estate planning tool, you're probably going to be your own trustee. And if you're married, you and your spouse might be co-trustees of your trust. You might each have a trust that you're co-trustees of. But when you're getting beyond revocable trust planning into trust like supplemental needs trust or inheritance protection trust for your children, you might have to consider using a professional trustee. Sometimes people don't like that idea because it does come with a cost, but there are a couple things to remember. First of all, a professional trustee has the proper training and software to handle the trust accounting and they're much less likely to make a mistake than a family member who has no training and no experience in handling a trust. Second of all, they're usually insured, so if they make a mistake, they can make good on it. It's also important to remember that as a disinterested third party, a professional trustee is going to make decisions based on data and based on prudent investor rules and other more objective than subjective variables. A family member trustee may try to do what is right, and sometimes that's wrong. We've seen um, a lot of family members, trustees make mistakes over the years, and we want to counsel clients about selecting the trustee that is right for their trust and right for their situation. For supplemental needs trust, for instance, how the trustee distributes assets out of the trust can have an effect on the disabled beneficiary's benefits. Sometimes that effect can be devastating if it's not done properly. So I am frankly pretty insistent about using professional trustees with supplemental needs trust. But again, every situation can be different. Trusts are set up for many different reasons and there are many different kinds of trust. If you need assistance in setting up a trust and you wanna get proper advice on selecting a proper trustee, please call us here at Dent Colson Elder Law. We'll be glad to help.